just the whole path from high school to Mississippi State to Wallace State, and you, know, you got drafted by the Yankees and didn't go. So, so what, yeah. what sort of all happened there? I mean, how did, who else were you kind of looking at in coming out of high school? How did it end up Mississippi State, and then what happened that made you decide to go another direction? Yeah, I um, out of high school, I didn't really have any offers. Mississippi State was preferred walk on, and. Mm-hmm. Um, the team I was on was really good, so I was like the worst player on the team um, at East Cobb. I still am, apparently. And um, <clears throat> and uh, I don't know. I felt like I learned a lot mm-hmm. doing that, not being the best guy on the team. Mm-hmm. And um, and then I went to Mississippi State, and and I just didn't think I was going to play. Mm-hmm. So what happened was I I I felt like I learned a lot. So I was like, I need to get on the mound. Mm-hmm. And I went to junior college, which was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Like you said, I got drafted and didn't think I was ready for it, which mm-hmm. I also think was a good decision. And um, I was fortunate enough to get here. Yeah. I was, so go kind of back to both of those. Yeah. I mean, Mississippi State. I mean, you know, you're there for what a fall? Yeah, basically. Semester. What uh, you know, what made you decide? Like, how did you figure? You know, I'm not gonna be able to get on the mount. I mean, you know, was it just because there was too many scholarship guys or, or what? I mean, like, did did they give you an impression like you're not gonna pitch? I mean, how did you kind of determine? Well. Um, I'm not there. The pitching coach was a really good guy, Butch Thompson. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've talked to him a couple times since I left, and um, didn't get along too much with the head coach. So the truth won't go much into that. Mm-hmm. And I just, yeah, I just felt like second string, second mm-hmm. tier compared to the other guys. And I mean, their pitching staff was great at the time. I mean, Jake and Wingren, one of my buddies, is probably gonna be in the big leagues this year. Right. Gonna get called up any day now. So it, it just, I don't know, wasn't a right fit for me. Was that? I'm trying to think when that would have been. Was that like the year before they went to Omaha, or? Yeah, the year yeah. before I would have gone to Omaha. Yeah, <laughs> if you had to start hey, it out. It's not over yet. Mm, yeah, still got a shot. Right? No, definitely. Um, <clears throat> what? Um, it, what? Why Wall State? What was? I mean, obviously, like I said, they've got they had Kimbrel, they had Holland. Yeah. You know, but how did you end up with those guys? I went. I did like a junior college tour, leaving Mississippi State, and uh, went to a bunch of junior college, Chipola, and all those. And no one really offered me too much. I really wasn't throwing well at the time. Mm-hmm. And um, and then the final two came down to Shelton State and Wallace State. And Shelton State said their head coach is a big pitching school in Alabama. They have a mm-hmm. bunch of pitching prospects every year. Their coach said, "We'll take you, but we don't need you." <laughs> <laughs> Which was, I still remember that every single day. Mm-hmm. And then I went to Wall State, didn't think mm-hmm. twice about it, and made a personal vendetta against Shelton State. <laughs> every single game was mm-hmm. a grudge match. I said, how'd you do against him? Uh, never. I think I gave up two years, gave up. My dad kept all the numbers, like six yeah. hits. Right? <laughs> like something like really? that. Yeah, sh- yeah, I really made a point of beating them. Mm-hmm. Three wins, a couple saves. Right. Yeah. What was it about? I mean, you mentioned Putman. I mean, just what did he, what did he do for you as a pitcher? I guess how, how did you sort of? Randy Putman. Randy's a legend. He uh, <laughs> he's a character when you talk to him. He, he he's got a story for everything. Yeah. Um, the Kimbrel story where he's thrown from his knees every year. Mm. He throws it a little bit further from yeah. his knees. <laughs> and he's just. I mean, he's a now legend. Now it's pull to pull at this yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. No, he's mm. now he's throwing it in the <laughs> library. He. Uh, Randy's just he's a smart guy. I mean he knows the game and he, mm-hmm. and he and the way he the way he likes it to be played really I mean went with my personality. He wants mm-hmm. everything hard nosed as hard as you can. Don't take no from anyone, don't take mm-hmm. any grief from anyone and mm-hmm. and just played in my personality it helped me a lot. How much better were you as a pitcher? I guess after two years, I mean, you know, what what could you do? What do you where did you yeah. feel like a better pitcher? It made a world's difference. Um, I just. I think mentality was the biggest difference. From Mississippi State, I had mono going in, and I was weak, mm. and I couldn't mm. throw hard, and I just felt lost. And then at Wallace, I gained my strength back, and the pitching coach Adam Scott helped me a lot. Like helped mm. me a lot. He um, he kind of he let me. They let me be me, mm. and, and I think that was the biggest thing. Like big Division One schools, it's easy to lose who you are. Because mm. I mean, you got so much stuff going on, and and they let me be. Brett Marks, and mm. I'm going to be weird, I'm going to do my thing in the dugout, I'm going to do my thing out on the mound, and I don't know, they just mm. let me be me, they mm. just succeeded. What, uh, 